Do you still remember the Segway or the mobile app Vine? And how about Quibi? These were just a few examples of some of the biggest flops in the tech world, products that disappeared almost unnoticed. But did you know that some of these products were simply ahead of their time, failing despite having giant corporations and billions in investments behind them? Watch the video to the end to see one of the world's biggest tech flops with a loss of over $7 billion. 2001 saw the introduction of a vehicle that was to revolutionize mobility in the city. The Segway was a two-wheeled vehicle that at the time received massive media attention and was destined to become as popular as cars. But in reality, its high price, urban restrictions, and striking appearance did not inspire a larger user base. Instantly, the Segway was on everyone's lips and many people remember it best from the comedy Mall Cop, where Paul Blart zips around the mall on a Segway. In 2010, a major tragedy occurred when Segway owner James Heaselden died after driving his Segway off a cliff, less than a year after buying the business. This only accelerated the Segway's downward trend. Despite its momentary height, with only 140,000 units sold in its lifetime, and in 2020, the Segway was discontinued for good. Segway says it'll stop producing its iconic PT scooter beginning in July. Vine, known as a pioneer of short-form videos, was launched in 2013. The app allowed users to share six-second looping videos, and this simple format sparked a wave of creativity. Vine quickly rose to massive popularity, and many of today's superstars, like Logan Paul and Shawn Mendes, actually started their careers on Vine. But despite its success, Vine faced major challenges. Competing platforms like Instagram and Snapchat began offering similar features. Pulling users away from Vine, Vine struggled to generate revenue and retain its top creators, which led to a decline in user numbers. Eventually, in 2017, Twitter, which owned Vine, decided to shut the platform down for good. Samsung is known for its high-quality smartphones, but even they don't always get it right. Sometimes, new models can fail or even catch fire. The Galaxy Note 7, released in 2016, initially received major attention for its impressive features. However, a serious issue soon emerged. The device's lithium-ion batteries were overheating and catching fire, posing a burn risk to consumers. Samsung received over 90 reports of overheating incidents in the US alone, including 26 cases of burns and 55 reports of property damage. As a result, the company halted sales and launched a global recall program, offering customers a replacement device or a full refund. Unfortunately, even the replacement units suffered from the same issue, leading Samsung to permanently discontinue the Galaxy Note 7 just a few months later. In 2020, Quibi was launched, a streaming platform focused on short-form mobile content, backed by a massive $1.75 billion in funding. The project had several big names attached to it. It was founded by Jeffrey Katzenberg, a well-known Hollywood producer, former Disney executive, and the founder of DreamWorks Animation. Other high-profile names included Steven Spielberg, Jennifer Lopez, and Liam Hemsworth. But the famous people did not save the service because it closed after only six months. Several factors contributed to Quibi's failure. First, it entered the market during the COVID-19 pandemic, when people were stuck at home and demand for on-the-go mobile content dropped significantly. On top of that, Quibi offered short videos as a paid service, while free platforms like TikTok and YouTube were already dominating the short-form space. The decision to limit content exclusively to mobile devices, with no option to watch on other screens, further hurt its appeal. In the end, Quibi went down as one of the biggest tech failures in recent history, burning through $1.75 billion in just half a year. In 2016, a product hit the market that was supposed to revolutionize home juicing. Juicero was a smart juicer that cost $400 and only worked with its own special juice packs, which had to be ordered separately. The device featured Wi-Fi connectivity, a QR code scanner, and a complex pressing mechanism that monitored the quality of each juice extraction. But Juicero overlooked one tiny detail that ultimately sealed its fate. Users tried squeezing the juice packs by hand and discovered the result was exactly the same. No Wi-Fi needed, no machinery just two hands. Social media exploded, and Juicero instantly became a meme in tech history. The company had raised $120 million in funding, with backers including Google Ventures. But consumer trust vanished, like juice from a squeezed pouch, and just a year later, Juicero shut down completely. Next up is Samsung's attempt to bring kitchens into the future. In 2014, the company introduced a smart refrigerator connected to the internet. This innovative appliance allowed users to browse their Twitter feed, read recipes, and check the weather, all from a screen built into the fridge door. 
While the technology initially seemed promising, its real-world usefulness turned out to be limited. Many users found the device slow and prone to bugs, which negatively impacted the overall experience. And the idea of reading Twitter on a fridge door raised questions about whether it added any real value to daily life. Even more concerning was the issue of security. In 2015, cybersecurity firm Pen Test Partners discovered a vulnerability in Samsung's smart fridge that could potentially expose users' Gmail login credentials. This incident highlighted growing concerns around smart home devices and their integration into personal networks. Samsung's smart fridge stands as a reminder that not all smart technology actually delivers meaningful benefits to the user. As a final honorable mention, one of the biggest tech flops in history, in 2013, Microsoft made a bold move by acquiring Nokia's mobile phone business for $7.2 billion. The goal was to strengthen its position in the smartphone market with the Windows Phone operating system. Unfortunately, this strategy failed for several reasons. First, Microsoft entered the market too late. At that point, Android and iOS already dominated the smartphone space, making it extremely difficult for new competitors to gain traction. Additionally, Windows Phone struggled to attract app developers, leading to a limited app ecosystem and a weaker user experience. As a result, in 2015, Microsoft was forced to write down nearly $8 billion related to the Nokia acquisition and announced 7,800 job cuts. This failure remains one of the most expensive in mobile industry history, highlighting just how critical timing and an understanding of market dynamics are in the tech world.